Um, so I'm going to look at um, a mechanism for a conchoid of a straight line. Um, this one uh, has got a special, has got a name. It's called the conchoid of um, Nicomedes, and it was um, uh, used in um, uh, ancient Greek for uh, um, for attempting to trisect an angle. Um, but here, uh, then, is the conchoid of uh, Nicomedes. So the um, uh, simply what we need to do, uh, we create our our pole is going to be at the origin, and the curve we're going to run, run through is a straight line. Um, so I set our pole at the origin. Um, straight line will specify where it is by um, specifying its distance from the y-axis. And then um, we can just uh, create a line and stick a slider here. So um, this this distance here from C to B is going to be some specific distance B. And I'll create another point interior at that same distance. And now I'll um, drive the whole thing with an angle here. So I'm actually going to do that. And I can look at um, the location of B. I really just want this angle to go from um, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. I really don't want it to flip all the way over. So let me just uh, make sure that my theta's got the right boundaries. Um, minus 1.57. To plus one point five seven, and um, let's just uh, and so now I can create this uh, with theta gives me that curve, um, and I can do the same with the interior one that gives me that curve, and so let's see what these curves are. Um, this, this time I will ask for the implicit equation, the main equation of this thing. And uh, there we have it. It's a fourth order uh, equation. You can see um, this x code term would go away if a and b were the same size. Um, what about the internal curve? Oh, I misspelled that, right, didn't I? Equation uh, this curve probably came one. Oh. And we see if you look at it that the equation is actually the same. They are two branches of the same implicit curve. 